very much indeed. Noel Phillips is outside Kesgrave High School and joins me now. Hello to you, Noel. A very shocking morning uh, for staff and pupils and their families uh, of the school. Police say they're treating this as an isolated incident. What more can you tell us? That's right, so I'm not outside the school. The school's about a four-minute walk from where I'm standing. I'm standing at the scene of where the shooting took place just after 8.40 this morning. And as Katie was saying there, the police have confirmed that this is an isolated incident. But understandably, people and parents across Ipswich will be concerned. And at, as it stands at the moment, there are a big, there's a big police presence in the area. There's a, a group of police officers outside the, the, the school. I think the school is due to finish uh, shortly. We understand only Year 9 and Year 11 pupils are currently in school. And we spoke to a parent who, I think she arrived at 45 minutes before the school bell to try and pick up her son. And she said as she dropped her son off this morning, she heard of the news, she went to work, and subsequently she said, obviously, this is shocking. This is a very quiet place. It's, a, in some ways, a sleepy town where they don't tend to get much police activity. Nonetheless, a shooting in itself has caused a lot of distress and concern uh, to people. She made the point that, like... Her, like children here and across the country, the kids have been off school for a long time. She believes in some ways this may be some sort of altercation that has gone wrong, but that's not down for us to speculate. But it gives you a sense there as to, as to how she's feeling, that these sort of attacks random, you know, aren't random in, in places like this. And she's there. She said she's going to get her son. She's going to take him home and talk to him. But the school have been emailing parents throughout the day, informing them of what's happening and trying to provide that reassurance that despite the fact that one of their classmates had been shot whilst making their way to school this morning, parents should not be alarmed. Uh, this is an isolated incident and there is no wider threat to the public and we're expecting, I guess, some more reaction throughout the afternoon here as we uh, try and make our way and trying to try and get some more uh, reaction from parents and also pupils as they leave school shortly. OK. Uh, Noel Phillips there in Kesgrave for us. Thank you. Noel Phillips is in Kesgrave and joins me now. Hello to you, Noel. Uh, a huge amount of shock in this area at what has unfolded. What have local people been saying to you? Well, there are people who are still reacting, and we saw for ourselves a few moments ago as parents were outside Kesgrave High School collecting their young children, some of whom are in year nine, some are in year 11, but we know uh, this teenager who remains in a serious co condition in hospital was a year 11 uh, pupil. So there were parents who may have never brought their children to school or picked up their children from the school gate doing so today in response to what they have heard and in, and in response to the emails sent out by the school informing uh, parents about this shooting which took place, as you said, earlier this morning. But understandably, this uh, quiet uh, town, which, uh, you know, is relatively, um, you know, sort of a place where there isn't very much um, police activity is now the focus of a huge police investigation. And as you can see behind me, police are still trying to piece together the events of what happened here this morning. Uh, we know another teenager has been arrested on suspicion of, uh, of attempted uh, murder. But what we don't know is, is the circumstances as to, you know, where did this teenager find a fire, you know, get a firearm to shoot another teenager? or indeed how and why did this happen. There are parents who did make the point that pupils have been off you know, school for a long time. It's, you know, since the coronavirus lockdown, there are, you know, it was her son, there was this one parent telling me it was her son's first day back on Monday. And this has only left a lot of parent, parents very anxious. And we heard from Assistant Chief Constable uh, Rob Jones uh, speaking where I am a few moments ago, reassuring the community across Ipswich that this is an isolated incident and there is no wider threat to the public. But you speak to people in this community and they are worried, they are concerned. And I say once again, that is because shootings aren't a regular thing in places like this. So as we know, the police investigation will continue. The police cordon here will remain in place. And as it stands, the parents who we've been speaking to, many of whom are just too afraid to come on camera, say they will be allowing their children to return to school tomorrow, but they'll be doing so with a lot of anxiety and a lot of nervousness. And indeed, we'll be watching as the day goes on to see if there's any more deliverments. But as it, as it stands, this teenager remains in a serious condition in hospital. Well, thank you. The latest coronavirus case numbers from the UK now and 2,948 uh, confirmed.